All right, well, time to go get some. 18 gallons for the boat. Nine octane, no ethanol, of course. I definitely have switched. feet of stuff or whatever it is and I didn't have to answer the single first question like hey it's October are them sheep said biting yet there's always somebody who wants to talk to you <laughs> granted this may not be for you for me it works you know I just don't like having to take the boat to the gas station so, and that six gallon ga jerry can full of gas might be a little too much for you, but it's not for me. If we had a lot more user friendly gas stations around here, it wouldn't be such a big deal that we're close. But, I know a lot of people get their gas and stuff right after they come back. But after a day, I just come home. And at the same time, a little aerobics here doesn't hurt anybody. And they don't design these gas stations for you to go in. But I am using 100% 89 ethanol free, 89 octane because they opened a new gas station near me. Because believe it or not, I had a friend who was like, you put your gas in with, with jerry cans, gas cans. Man, he said, ain't that a hassle? I said, no, not really. So let me show you how it's not really a hassle for me at all. Well, one thing I am lucky enough that I do have, which nobody else has, I do have a giant bait board right up here on the transom of my boat. That everything that I did here was pretty much life by design. And this and the way my boat is built is pretty much because of life by design. You ever see one of these? They're cheap. But these are cheap. There isn't any Harbor Freight or anything like that. It's one of the little siphon ball valve. All this is is a brass end with a, with, a, with a marble in it. And I just call it my shaker tube. Now, here's my gas fill. I do put a funnel in it because I don't want it spilling anywhere. Take your end. I stick it in the gas. Get down in the bottom of the gas uh, can. I take the funnel. I stick it in there like that. And I shake. Gas is going in. There you go. Sitting right up here on my bait board. And then the gas is going right in to this funnel. And there's my gas filler. And while I dump in 18 gallons, which will give me at least 
at least two day tr days worth of fishing in the river, I'm good to go. And while this is doing this, you can hear it. Hear the ball? It's clicking in there. So once I stop hearing that, I know it's all done. After it's, I put in 18 gallons, I'm gonna go get some more because I'm watching the price of non-ethanol go back and forth like a teeter-totter down the street from my house at the local new gas station that sells non-ethanol 89 octane. Life's by design. It's all the choices you make. Anybody can do this though. I just really have it really super convenient having my bait board right here. None of that dealing with the gas station and all that. You know, for inshore fishermen, I just do it at home. I throw these in the back of my truck, it's right down the street. I fill them up, I come back, I walk over, boom, 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 put them in. Done deal. Here we go, it's almost done. All I do is I shake the rest, pull this out, okay. I shake that out, I take that and I throw it back here, get that out of the way, and when I'm done, I'll put one of the old fashioned spouts on. And there's always just a little bit left. And I dump it in there like that. One more. And I'm done. And I'm going to go get some more 18 gallons worth. Three six-gallon cherry cans. See? That buddy of mine, he's like, how do you get the gas? You going to sit there and hold it and pour it in a funnel? I said, no. One of these little shaker tube siphon jobbies. Piece of cake. Why do we watch YouTube? The reason we watch YouTube is for ideas. That's it. I don't really care how anybody puts gas in their boat. But if they're like me and they hate having to deal with gas stations that aren't designed for you to pull all this in on a uh, Friday or whatever, and plus, if you've got a fuel-efficient boat, really? How much gas do you really need to be carrying around? I always say to people, I'm in the people-carrying business. I'm not in the fuel barge business. I take what I need, and that's pretty much it, with a good uh, percentage for spare, you know, emergency type thing. So right now, I'll leave on this week's charter, and I'll have 50 gallons in the boat. For three people fishing one day, I'll never use that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. I want to go fishing because it takes my stress away. I want to go fishing, try and cast my blues away.